Moving to Michigan State University now, a former student has filed a lawsuit against a fraternity where he pledged for hazing. Yeah, it happened back in 2021, he says. Taryn Simmons is here for you now with more details on that lawsuit. Taryn? Sherry Siobhan, now former MSU student, Connor Mui is suing Lambda Pi Epsilon. Mui is accusing the fraternity of forcing him to smoke dangerous amounts of marijuana and intense workouts to pledge into the frat. The lawsuit claims the hazing happened inside the frat house on October 27, 2021. According to Amoy's lawyers, he was forced to smoke so much marijuana, he ended up in the hospital three days later after he said he felt lethargic and could not walk. He was discharged the next day, but was readmitted the same day after he says he developed nausea, vomiting, severe headaches, and started hearing voices. His doctor said that Moe's symptoms were an altered mental state and substance intoxication due to the amount of marijuana he was pressured into taking. He was discharged on November 1st and was readmitted again on November 2nd. His lawyer says for the next five days, Mui went through multiple medical tests and evaluations until he was finally discharged on November 6th. Then, on November 15th, the lawsuit says he was forced to do exercises throughout the night so that he could catch up to the other members, which resulted in him being diagnosed with a medical condition from damaged muscle tissues. Mui did report the hazy incidents to MSU, which was determined that there was harm being done during the associate chapter's new member process and intake process. We reached out to the fraternity, MSU's fraternity, and sorority life, Mui's lawyers, and Mui, but haven't heard anything yet. But this isn't the first time MSU fraternity has been sued for hazing. Back in November of 2021, a student died after drinking too much at a fraternity.